Bouchard on the sidewalk. Brilliant. We decided to do this road trip on one of the hottest weeks on record. Yeah, I mean that seems like a great idea for a car with marginal air conditioning. Sure. What can that happen? I know he's suffering though. Already it's hot. The air conditioner just kind of blows through a straw but I know he's loving it too. So the general rule for me is whatever the outside temperature is, I can be 10 to 15 degrees cooler in here than it is outside. Now over time, the car heats up. All the coolant lines, all of the hot water of the car is running through these high door sills. They will get hot to the touch, like painfully hot to the touch. That will extra heat the cabin, which is fun. If you saw our last four road trips to the Nissan Z, it was luxury. First, I didn't have air conditioning, and I was in an almost 40-year-old car. This is going to be the payoff. I haven't even broken out the cool seats yet. And I'm in tour mode with the tour suspension. This thing is so great for road trips. I'm just going to sweat through my clothes. Honestly, the only thing I really would wish for in this car is cruise control. Because on a trip like this, I'm probably going to wish I had it. But at 80 miles an hour in sixth gear, you stop hearing the engine and the exhaust with the stock exhaust on. Most of your noise is created by just wind noise. This is a wind noisy cabin. There's not a lot of people standing in this car. These are all realities of why it's the quickest.
we've got some scenery here. There, there's a little bit, but I am just cool and very comfortable, and it's excellent, and I really like this car. So yes, the the Lotus requires a level of sacrifice. Noise canceling headphones are an absolute godsend in this car. Had it gone back to the original stock exhaust, it actually brought the in cabin noise down, believe it or not, but it's still quite loud, and I notice it's like crazy every time I take those headphones off. Now, there's frankly a lot of cars where noise canceling headphones will help you, but on this car, it doesn't get your requirement. Right now, I'm actually really happy. We're getting some new desolate scenery from Wyoming. We're bombing down a back road in the group. Pretty great day to be out here. It feels pretty good to drive one of America's best sports cars they've ever built through the American heartland. So far, I've had two daily triples. It's, it's really easy and fun, and that's part of the passing. I need to pass a Dodge Ram. My only license tag is quick to wear in town place. Now, the other thing I've noticed is that when Paul has room in front of him now, he uses it. Uh, the C8 has plenty of power to, uh, to vanish from my vision. I am always marveling at how lightweight the car feels, and when you take weight out of the car, it gives you back sensation. That is the trade-off. And as cars get heavier and heavier, because all the stuff we insist they have, so they can be, I don't know, quiet, have cool seats, and all the stuff I don't have in here, including cruise control, as they get heavier, they get more distance. They get more like an airliner and less like a small Cessna, if you follow what I mean. Three tunnels ahead, maybe icy, not in 96 degree weather in here. Check this out. Ha ha ha. This is cool. Unbelievable. Chisel right through the rock. I just can't get over how much more that is. This is beautiful. I'm loving running along the bottom of this canyon. It's just seeing new stuff that excites me. Seeing new and different corners in new and different scenery. It always excites me. I can be half asleep at the wheel and get into a canyon and be like, wait, what are we doing? This is awesome.
aircraft parked outside, rotting away in the weather, and information in a little hut. Air conditioners are among the world's best. 